Hello everybody and welcome to the Canadian Redneck Channel. My name's Dave and today we're going to be starting part 3 of our Farmall 100 uh, engine rebuild series. We'll be taking our engine out of the stand here, putting in the tractor, putting all the exterior bits on and hopefully getting it to fire up. So I'll uh, move the camera around so you can see what we're doing and we'll get started. Our rear crank seal is a two-piece felt seal and it fits into these two aluminum plates here that bolt around the crank. So we take our felt seal and push it down into the plate by hand. Try to get it relatively even in there. there. And we'll want to oil this up also. So there's a few different ways to do it. You can try to squeeze the two halves together and bolt them together around the crank, or you can put one half on at a time and kind of try to work them up together. There's two little cork gaskets that go between the uh, two halves of the seal retainer. You have to place them in here carefully. And then we'll set the top half on.
put our distributor on now. We have our engine at top dead center number one. So we'll want to install the distributor with it being as close to number one cylinder as possible. Uh, I've put a mark on the distributor here where number one wire goes on the cap. So we'll pop the cap off out of the road so we can see. Just set that aside. And we'll turn our distributor up to number one. And on the back side, there's a little shaft that comes out. The governor gear, that's what drives the distributor. We want to put our gasket on, and it has a flat side that goes to the top to match this flat on the block. So we'll just carefully slide that on over the gear. There. And that'll have us in place pretty well lined up to number one. Now this tractor has been uh, switched over to 12 volt so it has a resistor on here and we can plug our ignition wire in there. We'll put our cap back on. So that is number one. And fire in order is one, three, four, two. I guess we got our coil wire here and we'll get that. So the next one we're two is number three. There we are. Uh, where is it? There it is. That one is number four. And then number two. Now we're going to take out our number one spark plug. At the base of the distributor, there's a bolt on either side, it takes a half inch wrench. We'll have to loosen those. So we've got our ignition turned on, we'll ground the spark plug here, and we gently roll the distributor until we get a spark. Careful not to touch this stud here, or you can get a pretty good jolt out of it. Okay, so we found our spot right about there. So now we want to tighten down this bolt. Now we'll put our spark plug back in and we should be ready to give it a try once we get some wrenches cleared out of the way. We've run our engine through a few heat cycles now, so it is time to retorque the head and reset the valves. And to retorque the head, I'm going to have to take these rocker arms off. So we'll get those out of the way and retorque our head bolts. The 
manual for these later 123 engines with the head bolts rather than the studs and nuts calls for 80 to 90 foot pounds. Uh, first go around I torqued them at 85. This time I'm going to step it up just a little bit, go to 88. And uh, start in the middle and work in a circular pattern out. The head bolts are torqued, so we'll put our rocker arms back on. Okay, so we've got the rocker arms back on, so we'll start it up now, make sure everything settles into place, and then we can uh, reset the, uh, the valve clearance. So we have our engine at top dead center number one now, so we can start there. These are supposed to be at 14 thousandths warm, and I can see that they're, yeah, we got some pretty good gap there. Uh, I would say setting them cold, uh, I did set them a little wide, like 16, and I would say possibly they hadn't seated terribly well in the lifters or something, and running them got everything seated properly, and so we got a pretty generous gap here. The second one took about half a turn of the screw. So now we'll uh, crank the engine 180 degrees and we'll be ready to do number three cylinder. That basically has us finished on our 140 engine rebuild. A few finishing touches here. Got to put the rock arm cover back on and the hood and stuff. But basically we're done. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those in the comment section below. Um, please give the video a like. Subscribe to our channel. And as always, have a great day.